What's up guys, Kuro here and today with a new video. So we are going to get another new banner here and yeah, mm, let's take a look at what we will actually get and at the end of this video I want to make a short announcement so stay with me till then. So let's see what we're going to get in the notices. Mm, the first thing is the um, step up scout. Yeah, we get step up scouts. Um, and this time we get a um, step up scout for the uh, Kirito, Asna, and uh, Yuki. Um, I think the only two good characters here are Yuki and Kirito, to be honest. Asna isn't that great. So, the next thing is we're going to get a new banner, it's the promised Knight of the Stars and um, the characters SS3 makes all party characters um, attack up, which is pretty good. And it's again a step up scout, we get Dual Blade Yuki, Dagaphilia and Rapier um, Silica. And the scout starts tomorrow on Friday the 7th. And yeah, what's the step up scout? When you do 11 consecutive scouts, you can go a step up and get better deals as you go. So it's a whale scout. So the first step is only 200 memory diamonds. The third step is 200 and the last uh, and every other step is 250. So yeah, promised knight of the stars characters can increase attack of their party members. Activate it as the uh, battle starts, it will give you a huge advantage. Additionally, they restore their own HP. Battle skill increases critical damage, plus 10% against holy elemental enemies. It also increases window to continue a combo. And by unlocking skill slot, it increases skill damage against holy elemental enemies and automatically restores MP. Um, yeah, the new characters from Promised Knight of the Star Scout have some character bonus. It will increase the amount of event items you could get from the next dungeon. And getting event items will be easier. Scout those characters and gain an advantage. Yay, looks like yeah, they want you to scout these characters really badly. So, the first one is the Celestial Dancer Yuki. Um, her special skill is Dual Orbit, enhance all party members attack and restore your HP, unleash a chain of attacks with a fluid motion. Um, the next one is um, a dagger user, it's going to be Promise of Reunion, Philia. And by the way the Yuki artwork is pretty cool. So yeah, the next one is Promise of Reunion, Philia. Special skill is the Promised Knight, enhance all the party members attack and attack and steal enemies HP to restore your HP with sparkles. So, um, yeah, not, I don't know what it's going to be like, but yeah. Next one is Starlight uh, Silica, the special skill is Wishing Star, enhance all the party members attack and restore your HP, attack enemies. Uh, yeah, Silica looks pretty cute here and the step up scouts, the first step is 200, the next one is 250, the third is 200 and the last two are 250 memory diamonds. So overall I think you need to pay around 1150 memory diamonds for all of these steps. But yeah, I think Yuki is going to be the strongest here and Filia and Silica both have pretty high critical stats but their attack stats are kind of low um, and yeah I like to have higher attack stats like this Yuki here she's pretty strong with these stats pretty good and um, yeah what else are we going to get so there will be a new dungeon it's the tale of the two stars um, yep as you can see you can get new items the night sky plumage plus 3% for uh, MP for Dark Elements and damage received minus 10% against Holy Elements and accessory is the Violet Star Earring, um, 30 plus combo attack plus 6% for Dark Units. Mm, I don't know if it's that great to be honest because it's only for Dark Units and you need to stack 30 plus combos. But yeah, mm, so summer tickets will add it to rewards. Summer tickets are available as you collect event items and earn event rewards. You are able to do the summer scout in exchange for summer tickets and could win a variety of items such as medallion and rainbow essence. And this time the amount of materials, the unlock ability, board and coal are drastically increased. Get lots of rewards and enhance your equipments. So this dungeon also starts tomorrow and the story is Kirito and others join the Star, Fest uh, Star Festival event that is collaborated with some other game. They move forward in the event taking the Vega role, the Altair role and such. At some point Kirito gets captured, then Asna and the others go and rescue him, but... 
So, um, in this event, for only some certain dates and times, the Master Plus One quest will be open. You only get 5 chances, 1 hour each. Try the tough one um, with friends and earn summer ticket VIP by completing the quest. So it's going to be pretty tough. Um, so, mission and number of tickets. Um, if you complete the EX under 1 minute, you get 1 ticket and so on. Yeah, you can look at this yourself. So, um, you get 5 diamonds per story which you're going to read and yeah. Um, also, whenever you gain a certain amount of event items, you can trade them for skill slot, unlock items and special equipment. Collect more event items to gain the Georgia's rewards. When you use a character from the Promised Knight of the Star Scout, you will have more item options. Scout the Promised Knight of the Star's character and get the edge. Yeah, so they want you to scout these characters. And yeah, unlock skill slots, you can exchange your stardust, like usual, for rainbow senses to unlock skill slots, which is pretty neat. And about skill slots, yeah, it's usual, they just make a character stronger. And mm, there's nothing more important here. So, mm, that's for the new quests, and the rain um, quest is going to end today. And there's a, um, you can vote for a character here, you just need to tap the vote, but currently it's not working for me, I don't know why. So, we can take a quick look at the weapons here. Um, so, they give you 10% bonus critical damage against Holy Element. The stats are pretty good, but um, the skill isn't that great to be honest. They will only be useful against um, Dark. Uh, holy units and um, they have no MP reduction. Um, maybe these characters will be able to do 3 SS3 without um, MP reduction, but um, to be honest, I don't think that they will be able to do this. So, if you want a dual blade, um, it's actually better to scout the one from the current beach banner. To be honest, the dual blade from Kirito is pretty good with 10% MP reduction, and yeah the attack up 10% and yeah we will need to see and wait what we will get tomorrow so um, so I wanted to make a short and quick announcement um, there, will, um, there will be a new game coming out today uh, in Europe and it's the Excel World vs Sword Art Online game and yeah why don't we just take a quick look at the trailer first ね、今日の夜に俺が出会った黒く尖ったアバター。2046年私が出会った黒くの妖精。今時を超えて仮想世界が激突する。ここ数歴2026年のVRMMOを我々がたどり着いたもう一つの仮想世界。アレブヘイ
Yeah, that was the trailer for the new game. I have already pre-ordered this game and should be able to play it um, by the time when this video comes out. It's probably in an hour or something like this. So yeah, I'm really hyped for this game because I'm a big Excel World fan. Uh, I thought that maybe Bamco would have made a banner for um, the Excel World um, game release here for Sword Art Online Memory Defrag, but uh, we're getting another dark banner, which is pretty cool. So yeah, um, if you want to see videos about Excel World with Sword Art Online, I'm going to upload them starting from tomorrow or yeah by the time this video comes out it's probably tomorrow and yeah um, join me on the journal through the accelerated world and the alphard world so yeah I see you there peace so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching if you like this video then please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as this helps me out a lot I will be playing a lot of this Excel World with the Sword Art Online. It's a PlayStation 4 game and yeah, I'm really hyped for this. So hopefully you will join me on this journey and we will have lots of fun. Peace. <laughs>